Welcome guys to a new Record of Ragnarok video. Today I'm talking about the quiet sus god Odin, covering what he's been up to so far in Ragnarok and the possible future of this mysterious dude. As always, make sure to watch to the end, especially today because I have a crazy theory connecting Hajun and Odin. Now let's begin. Known as or considered the leader of the Norse gods or the supreme Norse god, who in fact is on the official fighter list for the gods, so he will be fighting at some point during the tournament. I've been covering Record of Ragnarok as a series now now for over a year, so make sure to subscribe if you enjoy chapter reviews, what if battles, explain videos and much more to come. But for the fights prior, he's been quite silent and one of the most serious gods, apart from being one of the few people who actually took Brunhilde serious at the start of the series when the tournament was proposed. He told Thor simply to crush his opponent, didn't indulge whatsoever with Loki transforming into Thor to troll him, then the defeat of Poseidon in the third round which of course angered all the gods including Odin with him destroying the armrest out of anger. This of course is the moment when the gods realise this is no longer a game. And for some reason, I think Odin always knew the reality of this tournament, with this occurring in the final episode of the anime. As such, today's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN, which is supported on any device and provides a 30 day money back guarantee for all your subscription purposes. No one likes geoblocking like what they did for Netflix's Record of Ragnarok. This means that hundreds of exclusive shows or even the streaming service themselves may not be available based on your location. That's that's where Atlas VPN comes in to give you access with it being a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. Currently, they're running a huge free year deal for just $1.39 per month with a 30 day money back guarantee. The deal won't last for long, so make sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description of today's video. Still not certain about Atlas VPN? Let me explain. When you connect to a VPN server, your device is given a new IP and DNS address. All the traffic is encrypted and routed towards the server and when it arrives, the VPN decrypts the information to allow the traffic to access its desired destination. It comes with even more features to ensure internet safety. By inserting your email address, the tool scans the internet to see if it ended up in any recorded data breaches or data dumps. That includes emails, names, passwords, or any other sensitive information. Enabling notifications ensures that you are aware of such incidents and gives you a head up to change your password before anyone has a chance to steal your account. Internet safety should always be a top priority in today's world, so check out the huge discount on Atlas VPN's free year deal for $1.39 a month, with a 30 day money back guarantee of course. Check it out by clicking the link in the description. Now back to the video. Odin's most impactful moment and strangest moment in the series thus far. This is right as Team Buddha was going to fight Team Loki, one of the hypest chapters in all of Ragnarok by the way. So as Loki was going to attack Attack, Zeus and Odin appeared stopping them from fighting, but they continued to argue of course until Odin released his aura and said that's enough, ending the whole commotion instantly. This being the single most badass scene from Odin and one of the most hyped scenes in all of Ragnarok so far. Then we have Zeus saying something to Odin which may be hinting at Odin being up to something strange. This is as everyone else had already left. At any rate, Ragnarok isn't going quite as expected, stares intensely at Odin. Odin, how is it leader of the Norse, and then Zeus proceeds to walk back to watch the fight. Is this hinting at Odin being a traitor, or Zeus being aware of something strange Odin's up to, or something else? From there, we get Odin's stranger scene. After Zeus said that and walked away, leaving Odin alone, with his birds of course, he leaned down a little bit, showing his first smile with a very excited face. His birds during this moment start to freak out, and we see some flowers in the distance start to wither away. I'm guessing this is a form of Odin's power or that his aura is just that strong he can make stuff wither away which is pretty incredible. So regardless of what you think this scene means, whether he's excited up to something, it just shows Odin being sus. Now onto some theory time. As we know when Buddha betrayed the gods to fight for humanity, Odin said something again, the following. Let me ask you this Buddha, you're going to make an enemy of all the gods. Are you sure you want to do that? To connect this to my theory, I think Odin was more so saying, 
Do you want to make an enemy of me? Not really caring about the other gods, but referring to himself. Then, as we know, we had the defeat of Zero and arrival of Hajun. We get the reveal of both Belzebub and Hades, who seem to be the only gods who know the story regarding Hajun, but not how he got into the body of Zero and how he's here now. When Loki asks Odin what's the deal with that thing referring to Hajun, Odin said nothing like many other times prior. What if Odin has something to do with the arrival of Hajun to kill Buddha for, you know, betraying the gods or betraying him perhaps? When Odin stopped the group 5, this is, you know, back as I mentioned earlier in the video, the lucky gods were the first one to leave without questioning Odin whatsoever, of course alongside Loki. What if Odin was the one to get them to fight Buddha in the tournament as he was already aware of Buddha's potential betrayal? This could be demonstrated by the excitement he had shown in the strange scene prior when he was alone, showing that he was excited for what's going to happen, and maybe that he was aware that the lucky gods transformed into Zero and had a role in putting Hajun inside Zero at some point in the past, as the two people who have talked about Hajun don't know how he got inside Zero, and when Loki asked Odin, Odin said nothing. It could be him, of course, just knowing nothing, or of course he could be up to something as I'm implying. So maybe he sent Zero or the Lucky Gods to fight, knowing that Hajun was inside to come out just in case Zero failed. And that is my crazy theory regarding Odin. Probably it isn't going to be a reality, but something interesting to think about. Now, who do I think Odin will fight and how strong will he be? Of course, he has final boss vibes similar to Zeus, but of course Zeus has already fought, so maybe the final boss of the tournament. Thor, of course, is stated to be the strongest Norse god. My personal theory regarding that is that relates to raw power or destructive power, and that Odin will have more skill or some type of hacks to perhaps put him above Thor in like a tier list format or overall power. His weapon in Norse mythology is of course a spear, so him fighting someone like King Leonidas who also uses a spear would make a lot of sense. How about this? King Leonidas has two Valkyrie volumes, a spear and a shield, thanks to Buddha kind of messing up the layer of the tournament, allowing an extra Valkyrie to join with one human. So King Leonidas with two volumes against Odin with his, you know, final boss energy. And maybe one of the Valkyries dying, such as Brynhilde dying, and then King Leonidas to win and get the victory for humanity or something crazy like that. And this also goes with the idea that Brynhilde has been directly opposing the leader of the Norse as Valkyries are part of Norse mythology and everything like that. So yeah, that's today's video about Odin. Hope you enjoyed my strange theory. Hope you are as hyped as me for Odin's reveals throughout the story. But yeah, let me know down below what you think Odin's going to do. Do you think he's up to something? Who do you think he's going to fight? Do you agree with me, disagree with me? As always, shout out to the people who support the channel via the Patreon absolute mad lads but yep that's it guys peace